For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. The Bible tells those that are saved to go all the world and preach the gospel. And the Bible does not say, come to church. The Bible doesn't say, get baptized. The Bible says, go with the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. And when, when someone puts upon themselves to think that I am good, when the Bible says that there is none that doeth good, no, not one, when the Bible says that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, and that the wages of death, the wages of sin is death, and that God's love for us in sending His Son that we are sinners, that the Lamb of God would take away the sin of the world. We are unable to get into heaven by what we can do. The only thing we can do as sinners is we can die. We can be good at death. We're very good at dying. But we're not good in saving ourselves. Salvation is not. Going to heaven is not what you can do. It is what God has done already. Approximately 33 AD. A grand event happened on this planet Earth. Outside the gates of Jerusalem in Israel. Event upon a hill called Golgotha, called Calvary, meaning the place of the skull. And as evening came on, a very important event in our salvation happens when they nailed Jesus Christ on the cross and hung him up to die to be crucified. And the Bible says he died according to the scripture. For the last 24 hours of Jesus' life was brutal. It was tormenting. Where God, the Creator, allowed man, the creation, to beat the hell out of Jesus. To torture God manifested in the flesh. To put a shroud over his head and punch him repeatedly and say, Okay, Jesus, who did that one? To spit in his face. To pull the hairs of his beard. And I believe it's the Gospel of Luke that says there's even things unmentioned of what they did to God. And then they turned Jesus Christ over to the Roman government. And Pilate proclaimed Jesus innocent. I find no fault in him three times and yet Jesus people he came unto his own his own received him not rejected him and ordered Pilate and the government to crucify him all according to the scripture Pilate tried to have Jesus released and if Jesus would have been released, we would have no salvation. And the Roman government through Pilate proclaimed to us the sinlessness, the innocence of Jesus Christ. Still suffered and died according to the scripture. We are the guilty ones. We are the sinner. It is for us to be tormented in the flame of hell forever. It would be righteous and holy for God to take his wrath upon us. And yet, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. 
And he put that wrath upon the Son that you should receive. Because the Bible says, he that has not the Son, capital S-O-N, the wrath of God abideth upon them. But the wrath of God abideth upon Jesus Christ for those that have the Son shall have eternal life. And if you're so foolish to think that my denomination of religion is going to save my soul, my priest, my rabbi, my pastor, my guru, my whatever it is, then you're calling the work of the gospel of Jesus Christ a failure. You are calling the plan of God for a man to be saved of no importance. That you, the great Baptist, is better than the testimony of Jesus Christ. That if I were to eat Jesus and drink his blood, I would be a religion rather than a cannibal. That if I were to deny Jesus Christ as God, I'd be a Jehovah Witness. If I were to make laws and steal from Israel the promises of God to Israel, I'd be a Congregationist. And religion is man-made, but Jesus Christ is God-approved. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And when Jesus says, I am the way, there is no other way. And when you are putting your faith upon something other than Jesus, and if I were to ask you, are you going to heaven? And if it's not Jesus Christ, you are not going. Bible says that God says, be holy, for I am holy. And you can't be holy if you're a sinner. And the Lamb of God, who is Jesus Christ, taketh away the sin of the world. That you're only cleansing from your sin is by the blood of Jesus Christ. And only by Jesus Christ. There is no name given to the men whereby you must be saved. And that name is the precious name of Jesus. And you may say, Preacher, I've got a Baptist Jesus. I've got a Catholic Jesus. I've got a Jesus that smokes dope. And yet Paul says there's another Jesus. There's another gospel. There's another spirit. And they will not get you into the kingdom of heaven. They'll get you into the realm of hell. It's called deceit. It's called liars. And if your pulpit that you go to does not preach the blood of Jesus Christ as the only means of salvation, you are standing before Lucifer's men, Satan's men, according to Paul right to the Corinthian church. Marvel not, my brethren, One dollar, guys. that $1 Satan $1 has his minister. Makes him mad. Satan, the great angel of light, the phony. He will appear to you as someone who is right and yet dead wrong. True Christianity by the death of Jesus Christ according to the scriptures. And was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures is not a religion. And when you add a Santa Claus, and you add an Easter Bunny, and you add man's ways to how to be saved, you've come with an occult, you've come with a religion. And you will stand against God, rather with God. Did you shut the fuck up with that shit that you babble all the goddamn saves, time, you fuckhead? And only Jesus saves. Sorry, he's your dad. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him, believe, believe, not eating, not getting wet, not a membership, believe. That's the means of going to heaven. That's the means of salvation, is to have faith 
and believe and trust in only in Jesus Christ in his finished work. I mean, you would be found fault. You would be found in error that if you were to say, hey, I'm going to, I'm going to heaven by my church. My church will get me to heaven and then tomorrow your church burns down. I guess you go into the flames that burn that church down as you go into the flames of hell. Maybe your church can't afford its rent no more, can't afford its taxes, and it's taken over by the owner, it's taken over by the government. Where do you go from there? Oh, I, I, I got baptism. Salt water, fresh water. River, lake, ocean. What would have you? What water can save you if water is able to save? Oh, I do works. I'm a good person. What works can save your soul? Give me money? Not everybody can give money. So I guess everybody can't get saved. Oh, I can do penance and all that. Well, what if somebody can't do penance? You see, when you got to work salvation, not everybody can do the work you're doing. And what if your work is not correct and someone else's work is correct? But when we put God's salvation forth, when we say to believe, to get to heaven by what God has said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved, that's for everybody. There is no division of class of people. Anybody can get saved. Anybody can believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. It's kind of hard for someone in Iowa to believe that the ocean water baptism can save your soul. And yet, I have met people that come down to Daytona Beach to be baptized in the ocean. Well, not everybody can do that, so I guess not everybody can be saved. But any fool, any sinner, any sworner can believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and get their name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. The reservations into heaven. The reservations to get to heaven, to have your name in the book, is by what Jesus Christ has done. It's not of our merit. There is nothing more than what Jesus Christ has done for our salvation that you could even match, never mind override what Jesus has done. Because first of all, the salvation of God through Jesus is Jesus is God, you are not. You were born in your sins through Adam. Christ was born of a virgin, not of the seed of man. Sinless perfection. So, already you can't get to heaven by your merit being the sinner that you are, who you are not God. Jesus Christ, 100% God and 100% man. The blood that ran through Jesus, the blood that was spilled, the Bible says was Acts, in the book of Acts, is God's blood. How's your blood? There are people that go and spill their blood all over the world. There are people who kill other people's blood. And that blood is tainted. That blood is not God. It's not going to save you. Only by the blood of Jesus Christ, who is the blood of God, they will save your soul. So the very first, the very first thing that you need to do to save your soul is you got to be God and you're not. You're not holy, you're not righteous, and you're not good to be God. Only God is able to save your soul. God, our creator, who created us, 
who understood and knew the mess that man got himself into, said that man can't do it. And yet you will say, I can do it, my religion can do it, and God says, no, you can't. Depart from me, workers of iniquity, I never knew you. That comes out of the mouth of Jesus and all your good works and all your churches. Listen, you've got to come to believe that most of them preachers out of those pulpits in churches on television or radio are hell-bound sinners themselves. You think every preacher is going to go to heaven, man. There's, there's some swap land for you. You've been deceived. You've been deceived. I think everybody that opens the Bible is speaking good. You're absolutely correctly wrong. Because even the devil knows the scriptures. The devil quoted scriptures to Jesus. Out of line, out of place. He quoted scriptures to Eve. Out of line, out of place. And the Bible calls him the great murderer, the great liar. God has set forth a standard to get into heaven. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. It is spoken, if you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, that thou shalt be saved. Phil after you, Ethiopian eunuch, after he thought baptism was a great way to get to heaven. No, you must believe on Jesus. And his response is, I believe that Jesus is God, and then he baptized me. Salvation comes before baptism. And I hate to tell you, your church, whatever it is, is not going to save your soul. What you can do cannot appease God. And what you can do, fill in the blank. Everything and anything. People in this day and age are in hell for one reason. They rejected Jesus Christ as their Savior. You want to go to hell? Don't do whatever you want to do, but don't believe on Jesus. You want to go to heaven? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's that simple. It's nothing but the blood. And it's the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ that is accepted into heaven. Cash, checks, work, attendance, how good does not get you into heaven. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Jesus Christ, who is God, left heaven, left the throne of God, and became man. And he cried, and he slept. He got tired, he got weary. He got frustrated. He got into arguments. He preached, he taught, he healed. He had controversies amongst his own disciples. He was betrayed. He was lying about. And he suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scripture. If thou shalt believe in thy heart that, that God's raised from the dead and, and believe and, and confess with thy mouth, thou shalt be saved. There's only one scriptural thing that man can do. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. But you know, the Christian, 
at one point in time, I can't tell you, he's going to defy the scriptures. I don't know when, but the Bible says the wages of sin is death. And when the rapture happens, there will be Christians that will not die. We will, those Christians that are raptured alive have and will unfulfill the scriptures. And yet Jesus Christ fulfilled the scriptures by dying. And not only by dying, but by suffering and dying according to the scriptures. If the rapture would happen pretty soon, here, now, those Christians here will go up in the air and we won't ever see death. And we're sinners. Our state is we are sinners. You may think your state is Florida or Georgia or whatever state. No, the state you are in is you're a miserable con condition. You are a sinner. You stand be con condemned before God. That's the state. Now, if you stand in Christ, you'll be saved. You are saved. And your name will be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. But there'll be a day when Christians will divide the scriptures and wages of sin is death. And yet Christ Jesus fulfilled the scriptures by suffering and dying. And being buried. And on three days and three nights rising from the dead. Listen, all the religious founders, Russell, Eddie, Pope, are still dead. They don't have the power of God. And when you're dead and you're still dead, you're not God. Mohammed's still dead. He's not God. Jesus Christ suffered and died according to Scripture, was buried, and he arose again the third day according to Scripture. That's God. That's the difference between Christianity and religion. Your religion is dead. Jesus Christ is alive, seated at the right hand of the Father. That's the difference. Your popes will die and remain dead. That's the difference. Your ministers of Satan will die and still be dead. That's the difference. My Savior, whose God manifested in the flesh, suffered and died according to the Scriptures, and was buried and rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. That's God, seated at the right hand of God. And thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in thy heart that God raised him from the dead. That's salvation. Give me another round of mass, that's damnation. Put me in the water, that's damnation. I go to church, that's condemnation. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, that's salvation. It's plain and simple. It's plain and simple. Everybody help me out, guys. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. I'm not biting you church. I'm not asking you to do cartwheels. I'm not asking you to give money. I'm asking you and preaching to you about Jesus Christ. Big difference. Radio and TV preachers flashes that 1-800 number, that 900 number, whatever that number is, send me your cash. I come to you say, give God your sin. Give God your faith and your belief on Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone and be saved. Not broke. Not broke in.
Most churches and religions will make you broke. But God wants the broken spirit. God wants a contrite heart. God wants you as a sinner to repent of your sin and to turn from your sin. Yes, turn or burn. It's that simple. Don't come to God and how great thou art. It's how great. No, it's not how great thou art. It's how great he is. It's found the faith and trust of what Jesus Christ has done. We can't do nothing to get to heaven. Too many of you will think as you enter into hell, I don't belong here. How did I get here? Plain and simple. You did not believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. You believe something else. That's how you got to hell. And once you go into hell, you're not coming out. There's no exit in hell. And once you go to heaven by the Lord Jesus Christ, you do not want to come out. You don't want to leave. Now, salvation is not going to solve all your earthly, worldly problems. Come to Jesus Christ to be saved will get you into heaven, but it will not relieve you of your pain and your sufferings and your trials and tribulations. Is that like a seasonal thing? Uh, yeah, you gotta go to the right place. But believe in the Lord Jesus Christ will change your destination from hell to heaven. I got your. Remember you gave me one of those? Yeah. I went to high school. That's me. I went to high school in Murray Christian School in Pakistan. Missionary boarding school for two and a half years. <clears throat> so, Jesus said, Heaven or earth will pass away. Process of being but my word shall never pass away. But you may want to think about. You know, and the world, and the word is, is believe on the, the Lord Bible, Jesus the Christ, has, and thou shalt be saved. The Bible says the earth was created in six days. Believe, the not Bible doing. Says the six thousand years old. It's what Jesus has done. The Bible also says it's not what you can do. do. Any kind of preaching of the gospel. Because when you think you can get to heaven on what you can do, you are making yourself equal and above God, Jesus Christ. Y'all would have grown up in a country like if you grew up in Pakistan, where I went to high school. You'd be radical Muslims instead of radical Christians. It's just a matter of where you're born. It's kind of funny when you look at the world map. It's the blood. Are different parts of the world. Because that's not work. Grew up in our document. Of it's the cross. So you kind of have to step out of the and not a church. And look at what you're actually believing. Faith. It is Jesus the Christ. The faith is believed. And nothing else. Without any proof. That's the definition of faith. You've got to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be so saved. Step outside of what you're talking about and think about it for a minute. Think about it. There's thousands of religions in the world. And they're all what, wrong. What makes yours right? Jesus Christ is alive, seated at the right hand of the Father. Jesus the popes are dead, the religions are red, the founders of religion are dead, they're still in the ground dead. Jesus Christ is risen according to the power of God. If thou shalt believe in thy heart, the... Yeah, I know. So. I know the whole routine. I went to a high school in Pakistan, a missionary boarding school. That ain't going to get you routine. nowhere. Anybody that doesn't believe is evil and the devil and the devil. I don't know how it works. No, anyone that doesn't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ is not yeah, saved. Thank you. Thank you. Preaching the gospel. I'm very familiar with it, sir. Oh. Yeah, you're familiar, but you don't know. Look, nobody knows. I know. I know 100% yeah. that Jesus yeah, Christ really saved, saved yeah. my soul forever. That's why I stand here and preach the gospel. I have believed with my heart and I have opened my mouth about Jesus. Yes. 100%. That's God. Amen. Glory yeah, to God. Yes. Go. Thank you very much. Because only God yeah, could do that. Exactly. That's right. Thank yeah. you. That's the difference between religion. My God's capable to do the impossible. Religion can't do nothing. Actually, if you look at studies of prayer. I have. Yeah. And, and all the studies, basically, if you look at it statistically, prayer gets answered. If you pray to God or if you pray to a horse you or pray to anything else, 
whatever God you pray for, statistically, the amount of prayer. You can't pray to a dead God. Dead God ain't gonna listen to nothing. Statistically, it's just a matter of what God you believe in. The Muslims believe things just as strong as you do, actually more strong. They pray five times. And they'll a day still go to hell if they don't believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Pray. Isn't it a shame? If they don't believe in the Lord Jesus you know, Christ, funny. how dedicated it's they are, the they will burn in hell with Christian their God. Allah Christian. will burn with them. Isn't that a shame? Isn't that deceiving of the devil that all you gotta do is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, be saved, get your name in the Lamb's Book of Life, and then forever to yeah. be with God. It's the impossible funny. maker. With God, nothing's That's impossible, the scripture says. Instead of fighting God, just believe on him, see what he yeah. can do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you don't know because you're fighting. To know Jesus is to know eternal life. And they're all going to hell. Religion is man-made. But God and Jesus Christ has been approved by God. If you would have grown up in Pakistan, you'd be a radical Muslim. For God so loved the world. There's no love in religion. There's no love in religion. Stop going to that church and see how much they love you. Stop giving money to that whatever you give money to and see how much they care for you. How about having that TV evangelist come to your funeral? Huh? Mr. TV evangelist, the person that watches you seven days a week has died. Come to his funeral. Can't make it. Too busy. Sorry. Will that radio evangelist come to your hospital bed? I trod not. But I have a God. I have a Savior. Jesus Christ will be never leave thee or never forsake thee forever. That's the difference between religion and God. Religion will forsake you. God will not. Don't tell me I've been saved since 1987. How many years that is? Figure it out. I've seen God work. I've seen God do impossibilities. I have seen the power and the Holy Spirit of God personally. You know why you haven't? Because you have not believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. And you're not going to get nothing until you receive the Holy Spirit. Until you receive the Holy Spirit, you must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. It's that plain and simple. Salvation is wrought by God alone and only by God. And God suffered and died upon that cross that we may have eternal life. Forever. The church you belong to. There is nothing you can do. There is nothing we can do. <laughs> There is absolutely nothing that man can do to get himself to heaven except to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. That's it. God has one standard, one way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And that's it. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. God, I come by baptism. We'll go drown in the lake of fire. God, I come by church. We'll join that church in the, in the flames of hell forever. Religion will get you in hell quick. Jesus Christ will get you into heaven quicker. Jesus said, heaven and earth will pass away, but my word shall never pass away. When your name is in the Lamb's Book of Life forever by the finished testimony and the finished gospel of Jesus Christ, it stays in that book forever. When you go into hell, you get no name. You are nameless, you are knownness, and you will not have your friends. It's the same message week after week we are here. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ with nothing else, and thou shalt be saved. Salvation, going to heaven, is not a guesstimation. Going to heaven is not, I think so. 
You can know so by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. These things have I written unto you that you may know you have eternal life. Go talk to your, your, your pulpit leader, whoever he or she is, and say, hey, Mr. Mrs., can I know I'm going to heaven for sure? And you tell them the Bible said these things are written that you may know you have eternal life. If your spiritual leader in your religion says you cannot know, you are in a cult, get out and get in Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. That's it. That is it. It's that simple. Imagine how stupid you will be in hell believing anything else. Well, the Bible calls it fool. I call it stupid. How foolish you will be when you go to hell. And stupid. The Bible says the fool has said in his heart that there is no God. You're an atheist, the Bible calls you a fool. Forever thy word is settled in, in, in forever the word of God. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word shall never pass away. And the word of God, Jesus Christ, for salvation is Jesus said, I am the way. The truth and the light. <laughs> Heaven is gained by what Jesus Christ has done. The gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scripture and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. There's nothing else. There is nothing else that can get you into a place called heaven or glory. There's nothing you can do to earn what Jesus Christ has already wrought. The access way into heaven has been done. It is finished, Jesus said. When Christ died on that cross, he said, it is finished. The blood, finished. And you're going to come along and say, well, this, that, this, that, this, that. It is finished. You cannot do anything to gain God's favor for God's approval to allow you into his abode outside of Jesus Christ's finished work. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved.